Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist and voice coach from Singapore, currently in Singapore, and welcome to another installment of my weekly vlog series, Find Your Voice. So this is where I share what I'm learning so far in my journey as a singer, as a singing instructor, as a voice coach, as someone who is all about expression and expressing myself in the most authentic way possible and overcoming whatever internal obstacles I have towards doing that like performance anxiety and um, fear of judgment and rejection from other people and fear of embarrassing myself and looking stupid um, <laughs> yeah so uh, yes so the point I'm making is that um, yes with kind of, when it comes to our voice and expression it's not just about your physical voice and how you express yourself in that way but it's also about what exactly are you expressing in your life, in the things that you do, in the things that you create, in how you perform at work, how you are in your relationships, how you are when it comes to manifesting something that really matters to you. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can also write to me in any one of my links that you see down at the write-ups um, attached to these videos. Um, so I... Um, I'm not exactly in the best state right now um, because I found out yesterday that my cousin, my first cousin, um, literally the first because he is two months younger than me um, and he was like my very first, you know, playmate when we were babies, although I don't really remember those times. Um, yeah, but anyway, he, I just found out that he is um, critically ill in the hospital here in Singapore and um and it happened really suddenly so nobody really knows what happened as well yeah and so it's kind of um i guess you know in some sense i'm still in a state of disbelief because you know because of the covid restrictions here we can't just go and visit people in the hospital like like we could before covid um so all i can do is just try to you know, continue doing whatever it is that I need to do to maintain my life. Um, and at the same time, you know, whatever it is that is kind of not needed right now, it's like, okay, you know, somehow there's part of me that just feels too distracted to actually do them. Like my art stuff, I haven't done much this weekend. Um, yeah, and so, so I guess, you know, what I'm saying is that um, I'm in a strange state, I would say. And I don't know how to, I don't know what to talk about in today's video. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, that would be linked to, like, finding your voice. But, you know, in the spirit of why I record these vlogs in the first place to express myself, I'm just gonna share something and who knows what might come from it, right? Yeah, so, so, yeah, with my cousin, um... You know things happen really unexpectedly really suddenly and i guess one of the things that i'm present to now is how the reality of life is that at any moment in time we could you know end up in a situation where we're fighting for our lives and and possibly you know not make it um although i'm really hoping that he's gonna make it um yeah so so i guess the reality is that we can go at any time and it's not so much about i'm not saying that oh you know like yolo and like go crazy and um you know blow your life savings and buy that sports car you've always wanted to because that's your dream like i'm not saying like you know do crazy stuff like that because your time is going to be up soon um or rather we don't know when we're going to go but it's more like in our day-to-day -day lives right now because the reality is that all we have is today we don't know whether you know we don't know whether when we go to sleep we are actually going to wake up i mean we we assume that we will but we really don't know uh, we don't know whether when we walk out of the house you know you know, might get into an accident we really don't know and so all we can do is do our best to live every single day because while we don't know when we're going to go, it also doesn't mean that you're going to go like immediately. And so that doesn't mean that you go do crazy stuff. It doesn't mean that, you know, you also go like run yourself into the ground trying to create the things that you want to create. 
like we still have to maintain a certain level of functionality in our lives right like our day-to-day you know things that we do and and really i guess what i'm seeing at least for now is that all we can do is decide how we're going to live today and that's really all we can do how can we live today in such a way that we can continue to do that tomorrow so you know you don't go crazy and like you know <laughs> like drive yourself um into the ground and then you the next day you're just like you can't do anything else um of course there's no right or wrong way to do this i'm just saying like it's it's about i guess it's about finding the balance of like how do you make today count but then you know in such a way that tomorrow you can still continue doing that so some level of maintenance is required obviously um, but at the same time also in the, in terms of the things that we want to spend our time with are they something that really forwards you in a direction towards your dreams towards something that really matters to you towards the outcome that you are looking for in your life and because all we have is today really because we don't know whether tomorrow will come for us or not um, then when there's something that really matters to you it's really to start taking action on whatever that is right now and all we can do is really just take small consistent steps every single day in and eventually those small consistent steps would add up into a lot of steps and you will see the result of whatever that thing is that you're building so when it comes to our voice it is the same thing it's like you know today I mean our voice is a very delicate instrument right like you eat the wrong thing you lose your voice you scream a little bit too loud at your kids and you lose your voice you speak too much at a conference and you lose your voice right or uh, you know, you sing a little bit higher than your normal range and then you start to get hoarse. Like our voice is a very delicate and kind of temperamental instrument. And so I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, we don't know whether tomorrow you would still have your voice, right? The same like you don't know whether tomorrow is going to come for you. You also don't know whether tomorrow you would still have the use of your voice or the use of your limbs or the use of your brain, like, or anything really. And you know, in terms of making today count, then it's like, what are the things that really matter to you that need to be done now? Like, are there things that you need to say to someone that you haven't said, that you've been wanting to say and you just keep putting it off? Um, are there things that you want to express, um, you know, in terms of maybe creatively, maybe even just, um, I don't know, you know, go go for a walk or something like, you know, because these are different ways of self-expression too, not just with our voice. Uh, but yeah, are there things that you want to express in however way you want in your life that you have been putting off too, that you haven't allowed yourself to get to? And you keep thinking like tomorrow, I'll, I'll get to it tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow. And again, like I said, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And... I guess in some sense it's like, you know, if we were to, um, I mean, of course, you know, being human, it's like we assume that tomorrow will come because most days do happen in a very normal, routine-like fashion. So it is very natural to assume that tomorrow will come. But I guess what I'm saying is that um, maybe also have a little bit of an assumption that what if tomorrow doesn't come? And not to like freak yourself out or anything, but it's more like, while I can do this now, while I can say this now, while I can sing this song now, while I can express myself through a vlog now, while I can exercise and go for a run and, you know, express myself through physical activity now, um, then, then yeah, like, do it. (laughs) Even if it's just five minutes even if it's just one minute like just do it whatever that thing is that really matters to you that you really want to express right now in whatever form like go and do it go and express it go and be that even if it's just for a couple of minutes i know we're very busy people i know we have so many things going on in our lives we have so many commitments obligations but really you know that That two minutes where you just allow yourself to express whatever you need to, whether it's for yourself, whether it's to someone else, whether it's to work on your art projects, 
whether it's to learn how to sing that song, whether it's to just, you know, or something <laughs> like, like just allow yourself to do that. And, and it's in a way, it's also like a practice that would become a daily practice where if every single day you allow yourself that little bit of time to do that thing that really matters to you, to express yourself in a way that really matters to you, then the next day you repeat that again. The next day you repeat that again. Like by the end of a week, if you do like two minutes every single day, that's like 14 minutes. And you know, if you do like, if you do that every single day for a month, that's like the equivalent of an, an entire hour of actually doing whatever that thing is and expressing yourself in whatever that form is for you. So really just don't wait. Don't assume that tomorrow will come and will be exactly the same as today. Um, yeah. And, and, and it's not so much also, and it's not so much also because something bad will happen to you. Um, it's more in the sense of, you know, we also don't know if tomorrow maybe some, there's some work emergency and then suddenly all your, you know, leisure time has to go into handling that. And, or, you know, tomorrow, like one of your kids, you know, needs you to help them with their science project and all of a sudden your free time goes into that or something. Um, so it's not so much, I'm not talking just about in terms of like, you know, something tragic needs to happen and then you can't do the thing anymore. Like, it's just, you know, even if something happens that takes up your time as well and you can't do that thing that you really want to do and express what you really want to. So, you know, it's not so much of, yeah, tragedy needs to happen, but it's more like, we again don't know what would come tomorrow, whether it's tragic, whether it's just busyness, whether it's just, you know, stress, whether it's just someone needing our help. But the thing is, you know, while you have that time today, while you have that two minutes today, um, just take it and do something that really allows you to express yourself in the most authentic way possible, whether it's through singing or, you know, painting or just like go for a walk or exercise or even just to say something to someone important to you that you've been wanting to say um yeah like just do those little things because it's these little things that we do every single day that eventually add up to a lot over the course of a long time same thing with your voice you know if you want to work on improving your voice and um getting more proficient in it because after all this is a voice blog and I am a voice coach um, yeah so if you want to improve your voice as well um, it's really just taking you know five minutes a day to do your vocal exercises like really you don't need a whole lot just five minutes a day every single day you would get a whole you would get much better results than if you were to do like 30 minutes once a week so yeah what is the thing that you need to express right now and like Find a way to get that done today. Don't wait and don't put it off till tomorrow because we don't know what might happen. So if you have enjoyed today's vlog, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, like my video, turn on your notifications, um, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can also directly message me through any one of my links in the write-ups attached to these videos. And I'll see you next week.